today we're going to take a car from a second hand dealership spend the minimum amount of credits needed to turn it into a fantastic little money earning machine so stay tuned to this video to find out how and the first thing we're going to need is the car so head over to a second hand dealership and pick yourself up one of these the bmw m307 and well you know you want to a winner straight away when you're looking at an M Series BMW and at only 69,600, this is an absolute bargain to start our build with. And once you've bought the car, it's time to head over to the tuning shop and buy the following. You are going to need stage one and stage two weight reductions. You are going to want to buy full racing hard tires and full wet tires. Now, after that, You'll want to get racing air filter, racing silencer, racing exhaust manifold, racing brake pads and the racing brake kit. Drilled or slotted, that's up to you. After that, you want to pick up the fully customizable ECU and the fully customizable manual transmission. And the last thing as far as engine, we're going to pick up the high lift camshaft from the ultimate section. Now, once you've got those, your last two purchases are going to be the front splitter and the rear wing. These will allow you to get a bit more downforce. Now, once you've bought all your bits, we just head over to the garage so you can do the tune. And that is going to be very easy. Here, you can see all the bits we brought and the only adjustment we've made is to the front downforce and we've raised that to 100. Everything else is standard. And once that's all done, we head over to the race, which is going to be the World Touring Car 700 at the Circuit de la Sarf or Le Mans. And you will find that in the European section of the World Circuits. Now, just as the race begins, if I could ask if you guys would kindly hit those like and subscribe buttons down below, it really does help out the channel. And I appreciate every single one of you that has already taken the time to do so. You are all absolute legends. For this race we're going to be planning on a two stop strategy, that will be a pit stop at the end of lap 2 and a pit stop at the end of lap 4 and then to the end of the race. Now the first thing you're going to have to do once you've started the race is change your fuel map setting and we want to put that on fuel map setting 5. Now some of you would have noticed that despite the fact this is a 700pp race, the PP on our car was well below that. So if you do want to spend a few more credits and upgrade your car a bit more you can do and I would suggest getting the fully customizable suspension and the brake balance controller. The suspension I would say because in standard form the M3 is a little bit bouncy. It still works very well and it still drives nicely but if you really want to go for it spend a few extra credits I'd recommend doing the suspension as well. Now as for the handling of the M3 well it's an M3 apart from a slightly wobbly suspension it's a damn good car it handles well it corners nicely and top speed well certainly nothing wrong in that department and now seems like a good idea to jump to the end of the first lap because as you can see by the time you come to finish your first lap you are going to be near the front of the pack in fact if it hadn't been for the fact i'd made a mistake earlier in the lap i may well have been in first place already and I spent a lot more money on cars in this game that do not do that well on the first lap. So for what we paid, and at all in price so far of under 200k, the M3 is an absolute bargain. And just a few corners later, I was in first place, and you will be too. Now, once you are in first place, this is Le Mans. So it's a little bit of the same old, same old. You either drive now until your planned pit stop, or until it starts raining and in my case luckily they were both at the same time now as we jump ahead to the end of lap two in my race it was quite obvious it was about to start raining the weather radar said it was the clouds had come over and the sky was getting darker and luckily it was also time for my scheduled pit stop so it was into the pits get rid of the racing hards and put on a full set of wets and make sure to top up your fuel to the maximum. 
And once you've got the wet weather tyres and you've topped up with fuel, it's time to get back out onto a track. Then just put your foot down and go for it. However, my race now all gets a little bit screwed up because I make a really rookie error. You see, I wasn't concentrating. I was having a conversation with somebody in another room and I pulled in at the end of lap three, not lap four. I was a lap early. And so now I'm kind of stuck. What do I do? So I put on a new set of tires. Hell, may as well, while I'm here. And I topped up a little bit of fuel. Enough, I thought, to get me to the end of the race. Nah, that didn't work. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's the car. It's not. As you can see, with the wet weather tyres on, the car's loving it. In fact, she's absolutely flying. Now, the problem was me. You see, I thought I'd put in enough fuel to get me to the end of the race. And I hadn't. So I was going to have to stop again. A third stop. And I hadn't planned on a third stop. But it is what it is. I had to come into the pits. And so, with a quick last minute decision, I decided to pop into the pits for the third time. Not planned, but like I said, it is what it is. So, it was taken a little bit of fuel, then get back out onto the track. And now, we're on lap six. And don't get me wrong, I'm not taking any credit for this bit. It wasn't me. It's all down to the car, because look at that. Even doing an unscheduled pit stop, we are still in first place, way ahead of any of the other competition. And now it's a good time to jump to the end of the lap. And as we approach the finish line, I will give the same bit of advice now as I normally give this race all the time. If you don't have to do a seventh lap, don't do one. Better to wait for 30 seconds in front of the line than to waste five minutes driving around the track again when you don't need to. Now, that 30 seconds will soon tick over, quicker than you expect. Hell, I didn't even have time to go and get a drink. But, once the counter does reach a 30 minute mark, cross the finish line and take that win. And wins don't come much easier than that. Even with the extra pit stop, we were still over a minute ahead of the competition. So, we get the win and we get a very nice 825,000 credits. So, there you have it, a car from a second-hand dealership, a total spend of less than 200,000 credits, and that's a profit of over 600,000 credits just from your first race. Like I said, an absolute bargain. Now, if you'd enjoy this video, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons. I really do appreciate it, and it does help out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. For more great videos like this one, Follow this link, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.